Good morning, collective. Good morning, good morning. Peace, love, and light to you guys. This is Sasha with, excuse me, Intuitive Scorpio Tarot. I am back to bring you guys another general reading. Peace, love, and light to each and every one of you. So, guys, we are going to jump into this message. I don't know for sure what is going to come out, so please only take what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay? Remember, the reading is general. If you like a personal reading to reflect your own situation, all of my information is down in the description box, okay? Scorpio, so what I'm going to do in this reading, I am going to look into June, okay? We're going to talk about June predictions, um, kind of see what's going to come out, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get started on that. Let's see, which deck do I want to use? I think I'm going to take it back to this one. All right, Scorpio. So this is going to be June predictions, okay? So, of course, I will do another reading for June, but this is just a quick prediction to kind of see what's coming towards you. What can you expect? All right. Holy Spirit, I call upon you right now to join me in this reading for the star sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's coming towards Scorpio for June 2023, at least the first half, June 1st through the 15th? What is the predictions for Scorpio, June the 1st through the 15th? Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. All right. I want to call upon my ancestors, my spirit guides. I want to call upon Archangel Michael and Gabriel to protect me as I channel the messages for Scorpio for First half of June, June 1st through the 15th, let no weapon form against me shall prosper. Any demonic forces, evil eye, witchcraft, any type, any type of blockages that is trying to come towards my channel, my home, my family, I ask that you remove that energy, return it all back to senders. In Jesus' name, and it is so. Amen and amen. All right, Scorpio. So let's get June predictions. Show me what I need to see, Holy Spirit. Show me what I need to see. June the 1st through the 15th. Predictions for Scorpio. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Thank you. All right. So we have the Seven of Wands in the reverse. And we, wow, we have the High Priestess in the reverse as well. So Taurus energy is what I'm seeing here. You may have Taurus in your chart or you're dealing with someone that's a Taurus. All right, so we have the moon in the reverse and the four cups in the reverse. Wow, along with the sun, the Leo energy, Pisces. All right, so for June predictions, the first half of June, the first through the 15th. Wow, I'm seeing a lot of negative energy here. This can be you or someone else within your energy, but there's going to be a secret or something revealed. And someone is going to lose an opportunity with you. Someone's happiness is going to be blocked. But up here, it's like I'm getting the first half of June. Someone is going to get some punishment from the most high here. Someone here is going to feel like giving up. So what I'm getting here, honestly, <laughs> all right. So I have two different storylines, okay? So the first one, there's someone that's, I'm, I'm kind of getting, someone is going through hard times right now. They're codependent on others for financial assistance security stability okay someone feels like giving up but i feel as though whatever this is this is coming from the universe this is coming from god this is someone's punishment what i feel like is here is that god is punishing someone for what they have done whatever it is okay but they're going through some hard times and the universe is blocking this person's happiness they're losing they're missing an opportunity with you okay Something came to the light because, see, we have two major planets in the universe, the moon and the sun here. So this tells me that whatever was in the dark came to the light. And now that it's been reflected, someone's happiness is now being blocked. So if they've been keeping secrets away from you or how to how they truly feel, it's like it seems like to me you didn't see what was coming to you with that sun being in reverse. You didn't see this happening here or this person didn't see this happening. Wow. Because see, I have the Knight of Swords here and the King of Swords. So this could be an Aquarius, Leaf, a Gemini. But it's like this person lied to you. They didn't speak some type of truth. But something was illuminated to you. And now someone is being punished for it. 
Yeah. Now, for the second storyline, I'm getting the first half of June. You guys, if you're single, you're no longer going to be single. I've seen that a lot of you guys are starting to put your guards down. You may get in a relationship with someone. You may be taken off the market the first part of June. But with the high priestess being in the reverse here, I feel like you don't want to do things in a traditional way anymore. You don't want to go by maybe the way that you grew up or a certain type of value or core or whatever it is that the world has put on you. You do not want to have a traditional, conventional type of relationship. Yeah. Okay. Now with the moon, the sun in the reverse and the four of cups, I feel as though if you have been hiding something from the world, from your partner, whoever it is you may get in a relationship with, I feel like you're going to let them know anything you may have been holding back from them. Okay. With the four of cups being in reverse, I feel as though you're leaving behind past baggage. It's like you're not carrying old news into this relationship. You're letting it be known from the start. You possibly are letting someone know that in another situation you were very unhappy and that someone bullied you, but you release that energy, you release that person, and you're no longer talking to this person because you're not happy. Okay. Yeah, you may a lot let someone know that you may have went through a breakup recently or a divorce, separation here. Yeah, and that you no longer want to deal with this person. Yeah. So that's for some of you, okay? So take that as it resonates, all right? Tell me more. Show me the predictions of June. June the 1st through the 15th for Scorpio. Ooh, hold on. Tell me more. June 1st through the 15th. Show me the predictions for Scorpio. All right, so we have the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Show me what I need to see. We have the Queen of Wands here. Mm. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords, the Two of Wands in the reverse, ooh, and the Ten of Swords along with the Two of Cups. Right below that is the Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Hmm. Aries, Leo, Sag with the Queen of Wands. I feel as though Scorpio, see, you is this is you and someone else. This is someone else's energy with the Knight of Swords. See, what I noticed here is that you're not paying this person any attention, okay? The way these cards came out, there's someone going in a different direction and you're focusing on you, yourself, your throne. So it's kind of like someone is going in the opposite direction of you. Someone could be rushing in to talk to you, to have a conversation, I don't know who this can be, but someone wants to talk to you about some type of soulmate connection that may have ended between you and them. There's something that you ended with a air sign here because I've seen a lot of air. But whoever this is that's trying to come towards you, Scorpio, they're being blocked. With this two of wands here, someone is being blocked. Yeah, because of this ending that you have with this person, spirit is blocking out someone from coming towards you. This breakup was horrible. This person backs up and betrayed you. That's why God is blocking them. Yeah. With the eight of swords, I feel like whoever this is, they're trapped in another situation. They could be trapped in their mind. Someone can actually be in prison. Okay. But I feel as though with the eight of swords, it's like someone here is in their head about you. They want to come towards you, but it's being blocked. And there's st someone here is stuck in another situation. So yeah, they're, this person is being blocked. Mm. But with this two of cups here, I feel like this is the one that you felt like was your soulmate. But see, things got very unstable between you and this person because they are emotionally unavailable. And this is what causes separation. But whoever this is, they're definitely still holding on to you. Okay. All right, tell me more for Scorpio. June the 1st through the 15th, the first half. What is the predictions here? Hmm. Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. June the 1st through the 15th. Thank you. 
All right, so we have the sun, Leo energy. Tell me more for Scorpio. Oh, hold on, y'all. <clears throat> Let me get a sip of water while I'm at it. Hang on. <clears throat> All right, so let's get back into this. Tell me about the Scorpio, June the 1st through the 15th, first half. All right, so we have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we have the Emperor in the reverse, Aries. So heavy fire signs here. So see, we have the King to the Queen of Wands here. So you and this person is definitely divine counterparts. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Or you have fire sign heavy in your chart. Hmm. bottom of the deck we have the star here wow we have the two of cups here again the high priestess in the reverse pisces energy and the five of wands and right below that the five of swords yeah whoever this is they know that you're their true love you're their soulmate you guys are the king and queen of wands so you are definitely a divine counterpart here but i feel like you're going to realize that this person is a little arrogant kind of set in their way stubborn Hmm. Wow. Hmm. See, with that emperor energy, it's like this coming off like a narcissist. It's like this, whoever this person is. See, I feel like this is the same person that's trying to come towards you. See, this person, you know, both of you guys are very attractive. Okay, you both are passionate, you're mature. But I feel like the way this person communicates and talks to you is very immature. See, they want to take action to come towards you. But the way that they handle things, you may start realizing that this person is nothing but a charmer. And they could be a narcissist, manipulative a little bit. Mm. You may feel like this person has secrets. Or they're hiding something from you. Maybe you. it's like you feel like you are in some type of competition with some with other people. Hmm. It's like you prayed for this type of relationship. You prayed to find your soulmate, but it seems like this person. This, you know what? This may be two different people. This may be multiple people coming towards you, is what I'm getting. Yeah, because I feel like there's going to be other people it's going to be so many people trying to get your attention there may be this knight of swords that's coming towards you there may be this king of wands who's interested in you who's very mature handsome and usually the king of wands this could be male or female switch the roles someone here who is going to come off you know charming they look good you know smell good all that good stuff but then you may have an emperor who may be another fire sign who is a little narcissistic someone who is not of the divinity this is someone who's low vibrational a little stubborn set in their ways this may be different people that's trying to fight for your attention to have a relationship with you. Because see, I feel like you guys may have prayed for your soulmates here, but you're going to get different options. So that's why I said with the Nine of Pentacles being here, the first part of <clears throat> June, some of you guys are going to be taken. You're going to be off the market. And you're going to let your guards down. But for some reason now, I'm getting that there's some unfaithful energy going on here. Hmm. Let me clarify that um, the higher front card in the reverse. Hold on, y'all. Tell me about the higher fronts in the reverse. What is this for Scorpio? Why is this higher front here? So it's like either you don't want a traditional relationship or there's some type of lesson that you may need to learn or being punished by. Look at there. We got the fool that flipped out Aries energy. Mm. Hold on. It's like you're, you're kind of gullible or you may find yourself being gullible towards something or someone. It's something that you need to learn a lesson about from the most high. Is this giving me like a punishment energy? Someone feels like a damn fool here. But let me see. What is this higher front in the reverse? 
It's like someone played themselves. Wow. Seven, oh, okay. This makes sense. Seven of Pentacles. It's not so much that God is punishing you, collective. This is more of... It's kind of giving me the energy of someone is hard-headed. They don't listen. And someone keeps making a fool out of themselves, investing into people, places, and things. But I'm also getting here, you're going to have to end up releasing and letting go of something or someone. But I also get that someone here, you may find out, may be cheating on you. This could be an Aries, maybe a Taurus. They invest their time and energy. I feel like you would have been waiting for this person to change, but it seemed like they wanted to take their own leap of faith somewhere else. Look at their justice at the bottom of the deck in reverse. This is someone who didn't take accountability for investing into another situation. And you're going to have to end up releasing and let this person go because you may feel as though this person is trying to put you in competition with others, not telling the truth. Yeah, yeah, Ten of Cups. It's something about a family situation. Someone is lying about what they got going on because the justice in this deck, there's a sword. And then we have the two of swords here. So that's three, three of swords in reverse. I feel like you're going to have to heal and forgive and let go of this situation. Pisces energy, yeah. See things for what it is. Mm. Tell me more about the uh, higher fun. Tell me more about this. Higher fun in the reverse. Yeah, thank you. And I just called it three of swords. Yeah. There's something that's going to break your heart. I don't know if it's going to be like a third party situation you may find out about. You may feel like giving up. Because you feel like a fool in love, that you put your whole heart and everything into the situation. And someone here betrayed you. They broke your heart. It's sadness here. You could have been being patient with someone. And they still broke your heart or put you in a third-party situation. And I feel like that's why that Knight of Swords is here. Someone is trying to come in and talk to you. But this may be the person who's facing this um, higher funds that may have done the cheating. Mm. Wow. Who is this emperor in the reverse? Who is this? Who is this emperor in the reverse? Because I'm seeing multiple masculine energies here. So I feel like you're going to have so many people in your energy. But let's see. Who is this emperor? In the reverse. Eight of Pentacles. Someone you do not want to work things out with. You don't see the point in working things out with this person. They're so nasty energy. This is a low vibrational masculine. I'm getting an Aries here. Seven of Cups in the reverse. We have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. And we have the, oh yeah, Eight of Wands. Yeah, you're, you're cutting this person out of your lives. I'm seeing eights here. I'm seeing 88 again. So, guys, definitely check out the number 88. That can mean something to you. And then I also see two sevens here. Seven, seven with the seven of pentacles, seven of wands in the reverse. But whoever this emperor energy is, this masculine, this is someone who's very stubborn, set in their ways, narcissistic. This person didn't understand the assignment. So you feel like, you know what? I don't need to work things out with you. This is not going to work out. You're realizing that all this person do is bring you confusion. Your reality is starting to sit in that this person is not trying to put any type of work into this relationship. They're not even trying. So you may be blocking off communication with this person. Yeah, it's too much to bear. It's too much with this person. They are emotionally unavailable. And with that five of pentacles, this person wants to come out of the cold. Or I feel like you are going to be recovering from this narcissistic type of energy here. It's too much. It's too much of a burden. I feel like you guys may be shutting down on this person. And you're praying. You're healing. You're hoping for better days. Six of Wands here. Yeah, see what I'm saying? You don't want to work things out with this person anymore. You're not giving this situation any attention. Yeah. You're not giving it any more attention than what it needs to be. Wow. Mm. Who is this King of Wands? Let me see who this King of Wands is. Now, the Emperor can be male or female who's just narcissistic, low vibrational. This is someone who has no type of discipline. It's like someone who has a position in your life, but they don't know how to handle the assignment. You know? Tell me about the King of Wands. Who is this for Scorpio? 
Oh. Queen of Swords. Oh, this flew out fast. <laughs> Who's this King of Wands? I feel like you cutting this person off too, Scorpio. Or you setting some strong ass boundaries. We got the Three of Wands <laughs> in the reverse and the Two of Cups. This Two of Cups keeps coming out. So someone here is your soulmate. You're in a relationship with someone. Yeah, see, you're, you're whoever this, these two people are, this may be the same person or these two different people. You cutting people out of your life, honey. Even though you and this person, you're equally yoked, you are a divine kind of part. I feel like you're setting some strong boundaries. You're cutting them off too. You're turning your back. And this is someone you're in a relationship with or had a relationship with. This can even be a friendship, some type of partnership. Yeah, see the lovers and the empress. Oh, wow. This person, okay, so someone could have cheated on you with the empress of uh, feminine energy who's codependent, a pick me type of bitch type of energy. <laughs> That's a pick me bitch, basically. Wow, someone chose to deal with the karmic? What the hell? Yep. Someone got into a third party situation. Jesus Christ. That's why you're setting boundaries. You're cutting them off. Yep, you're freeing yourself from this person from your past. Yeah. They broke your heart. Again, three. I'm seeing the number three again. So, three, three, three is here. You're freeing yourself from, from everything with this person from your past. They broke your heart. They're too, yeah, their energy is too unstable, unbalanced. You don't want to forgive and let this person go. See, this person felt vulnerable. They felt weak to the temptations. Yeah, this person didn't want to compromise with you. And all this shit blew up in you guys' face. Or it will be. You're going to find out this person has secrets. Yeah. They played with your mind. They've been manipulative because they were doing some shit behind your back. This left you possibly up at night crying or you will be. Having anxiety about the situation. Feeling disappointed. Child. Mm. Or this can be this person. They got you on their mind day in and day out. Feeling disappointed in their actions that they chose. Yeah, see, you cutting off someone who was definitely like a partnership or a soulmate to you. You're turning your back. Yeah, you setting some strong boundaries. Yeah, child, you cutting people off. <laughs> who is this Knight of Swords? Who is this? You just feel like this shit is not going to work. <laughs> who is this Knight of Swords trying to come towards Scorpio? Who is this? Who's the Knight of Swords? It just seems like nobody ain't good enough. I'm telling you. The Hermit, Virgo Energy. Mm. Who's this Knight of Swords? Oh, excuse me, y'all. Who's this Knight of Swords? And of course, guys, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Thank you. Someone you invested into. See, whoever this is, they want to come towards you. See, like it seems like someone here feels lonely without you. This is someone, yeah, this is someone who lost an opportunity with you. Someone you broke up with, someone from your past. Yeah, see, the Knight of Wands is here. This is someone who could have been a playgirl, playboy. This is someone you let go of. There may have been a secret that was found out about this person that they was too much of a player. They were inconsistent, in and out, not ready to settle down. This person lost an opportunity with you. You guys could have broke up in the past. You released this person. Thank you, Spirit. This is the truth. Ace of Swords. This is someone from your past, someone else. Could be an um, air sign or fire sign here. Yeah, see, whoever this other person was, see, looks like to me, you withdraw your energy from this person. This was someone you invested your time, your feelings, emotions into. You were patient. But this person lost the opportunity with you. There's a breakup here. Yeah. Wow, Scorpio, you couldn't everybody off. I know that's right, child. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. What is Scorpio giving up on? What is the Seven of Wands? What is the Seven of Wands in the reverse? Thank you. Oh, Lord. Possibly a Gemini, the magician in the reverse. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands in the reverse. For June the 1st through the 15th, the first half, June predictions. Okay, what's this? Oh, child. Oh, child. <laughs> Somebody getting karma? Oh, somebody getting karma out the ass. 
This was someone who possibly tried to put some type of love spell or black magic or voodoo, whatever on you. This is someone who was very conniving towards you, untrustworthy, telling you what you want to hear, manipulating you. Yeah, you're not working together with this person anymore. Yeah, they're receiving karma for what they did. They're being blocked from you because this person was a fool. So I'm getting this going. This is going back to the person in the higher front energy who could have cheated on you. Someone who possibly was um a little hypocrite. Like, oh, you know, I don't do this. I don't do that. You know, da, da, da. and they turn around and did the shit anyway. This is someone you cutting off. I got a feeling this is this emperor that I clarified. But this is still an Aries energy. Emperor and the fool is still Aries. Or this can be a Gemini. Yeah. See, this person want to come out of the cold with you. They missing you. They had some type of wake up call. They don't want to be in separation anymore. They're ready to confess to you. Right? They're wrong. Because right now they're very unhappy. See, this person is going through the dark night of the soul. Yeah. Yeah. That's why they haven't bring you any offer. Yeah, this person is fighting some damn demons. Child. They want to apologize to you. They realize they missed an opportunity. They don't want to juggle you anymore. They see you as home. They don't want this relationship to be over. They want to come back. Child. But see, they might have, have a, a wifey or a girlfriend or whoever. Some feminine energy in the background. See, they're still dealing with somebody else, a karmic. And they're hiding this from you. Child. I can't. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. See, this is you, Scorpio, that Queen of Wands. See, you're letting go of the person that is your is your counterpart. You're letting go. This could be a father figure with this emperor. This could be a daddy or another masculine here. But you're letting go of a lot of people. <laughs> what is this nine of pentacles? Clarify that spirit. So it's a lot going on, y'all. June the first through the fifteenth. Like I said, these are predictions, okay? Just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Tell me more. Now, uh, now the pentacles. What is going on for Scorpio? What are the predictions of June? June the 1st through the 15th. Nine of pentacles. Child. I'm definitely going to do an extended on this. <laughs> I am definitely going to do an extended. So you guys follow me over to the Scorpio VIP. If you haven't joined already, click on the join button. I have um, the link in the community tab okay we have star here aquarius energy i'm thinking about guys doing a reading on career and finances i'm not sure yet but i'm gonna let you guys know okay we have the lovers in the reverse gemini so okay so now this is okay so this is a different storyline here so whoever this is isn't this nine of pentacles Six of, hold on, hold on, guys. Six of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> Karma's right up in the head. Okay, so there is someone that you broke up with or will be breaking up with. This could be a Gemini. <sighs> Ever since you and this person broke up, they've been struggling mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially. And they're praying to the most high for help. But see, this person is going through karma because they half ass love you in this relationship. They half ass gave to this. They were taking their time, moving slow to bring you what you deserve. You know, not giving you an equal give and take. You're giving more than what you receive. Guess what? This person is getting karma. This is the person who want to come back to you. They want to come back. But see, when they come back, see, I keep seeing this damn karmisha here. This karmic. The empress in reverse. Now, this could be your person energy here where they're codependent because I'm seeing codependent energy here. They may come back towards you and manipulate you in some type of way because right now they ain't got it. Yeah, they want to come back to you. Three, three. Three of cups, three of pentacles. They want to come back and collaborate with you, work things out. But see, this person's going through karma. They needed to do the shadow work. Page of cups and the ten of swords. See, this person is wanting to apologize for hurting you. They want to help you pull these swords out of your back. See, someone here is still in love with you, but I feel like you turned off your feelings towards them. You accepted your losses with this person and moved on because, see, you realize this person is a damn clown. Yep, karma coming out again. This person is going through karma. Yeah. For messing up a twin flame situation. Yep. And ever since you guys broke up, they've been going through it, honey. <laughs> they've been going through it. 
Mm. This person wants you guys to get back together. They're praying to the most high. I'm not going to say their prayers are not getting answers, but the thing is, Another energy I'm getting, you guys are shining bright. Ever since this breakup with this person, you have evolved, you have healed, honey. Again, I'm getting some of you guys may not be single during this time period. Mm. All right, final card. Tell me about the sun. Tell me the predictions for June 2023, June the 1st to the 15th for Scorpio. I'll clarify the sun. What is the sun here? Actually, I'll go ahead and clarify the Queen of Wands here to get a little bit more information because it could be something hidden that you don't know. What is the sun? Lord, there's two of cups. Child, there's two of cups keep coming out. You definitely got a soulmate here. Someone is, I don't know, someone is realizing that you're their true love. There's an unbreakable bond between you and them. Child, Queen of Pentacles. I'm, I keep seeing this codependent as energy. This person is a karmic. Two of Swords and the ADI. Yeah, see, you blocking out this person. You realize that the person that you had a relationship with is a damn karmic. They're selfish. You can't trust them. They're irresponsible. You don't even want this person no more. Yeah, you, you're blocking this person. Two of Swords and the Eight of Cups. I mean, uh, the Eight of Wands in reverse. You're blocking this person out of your energy. You don't want their ass no more. They're too codependent. They're irresponsible. They're not loyal. They're not dedicated here. This person is non-committal. You realize that. Yeah, and so all you can do right now is heal with the Three of Swords. You're rejecting this person. You don't want shit else to do with this person. You feel like they're immature. They don't care about what you think, what you feel. I'm telling you, you're cutting off communication. Or communication has already been delayed between you and this person. Yep, this person from your past. You don't have good memories about this person. Yep, they're being blocked from coming towards you. Because their energy is so impatient, so unbalanced. They don't bring any peace to your life. This person is egotistical. They're stubborn, set in their ways. They're stagnant. And that's why they have lost you as a blessing. Yep, they will no longer have the Ten of Pentacles with you. Why? Because they're too trifling. They're too deceitful. They're too conniving. They like to play too many mind games. So spirit pull this blessing, which is you, back from them. Yeah, boom. Thank you, spirit. The cycle has closed. Because again, I keep seeing this clown energy. This person was a damn fool. They were a clown. They played themselves. See, the thing is, I feel like you guys were very loving, kind, loyal to this person, but they were disloyal towards you. They're emotionally unavailable. Yeah, this person is definitely stalking and watching you. They want to bring you an offer. They want to. But see, this person, they're not going to give you equal give and take here. They're going to breadcrumb you in the situation. They're going to not take accountability. So spirit is not going to allow you and this person to get back together. That's not about to happen. With the um, Gemini energy here with the lovers. Mm -mm, this is not your yin to your yang. You guys are not equally yoked. Yep, this person is getting karma. And they're dealing with a karmic right now. This person is it's kind of like almost, almost even if this is not a karmic, this person is pissed off because they're receiving karma. But I feel like spirit put them right where they belong with Car Misha or Carmichael, someone who just as low vibrational as their ass is. See, you're able to release these burdens of this person, turn your back and go towards another direction. Yeah. Ciao. All right, so let me clarify the Queen of Wands here and that's gonna be it. But like I said, I'm gonna do an extended video on this, okay? Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Is this Scorpio energy or someone else? Let's see. Clarify the Queen of Wands. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep, this is you, the star. Yeah. You guys are definitely a star seed. You are divine feminine energy. You hold so much power within you that you do not know or re recognize, Scorpio. I feel like a lot of you guys have healed. What we have here, the Four of Wands. And we have the Eight of Swords. Hmm. What's at the bottom here? Seven of Cups, Four of Cups, the Temperance, Three of Wands, Ace of Cups. So, yeah, I feel like this may be you, Scorpio. You guys are healing. You're healing and you're focused on your home, your stability, your kids. There's some type of celebration I feel like you guys are going to be having. Some of you guys can be getting engaged, marriage, or you may end up being in a relationship with someone. Something that you prayed about. 
But with this Eight of Swords here, for some reason, I, I feel like you're kind of overthinking a situation. Let me see. What, you, what are you overthinking about? What is the Eight of Swords? What is Scorpio overthinking or feel trapped in? What is going on? What, why is Scorpio feeling stuck? What is the Eight of Swords? Hmm. You may be repressing your feelings and emotions about something. Hmm. Tell me more. What is this Ace? Oh, I said Ace. Eight of Swords about for Scorpio. Hmm. Wow, we got double eights here again. Eight of Cups. Clarify the Eight of Swords and then the Ace of Cups. Okay, so... Okay, Scorpios. There's someone who wants to come back to you, but you don't feel the same way. See, the Cups are in the reverse. You're not in love with this person anymore. The eight plus that one, that's nine of cups. You're, this is someone you're not happy with. You're not satisfied. They want to come back and try this again. Whatever situation in there, stuck. Maybe you may be stuck in your head about letting someone back in your life because maybe you don't feel the same way about this person because they didn't put the work in. Yeah, this is someone you may have rejected. This person didn't put any work. This is someone who maybe had secrets away from you. Yeah. Yeah, this is someone who didn't bring any peace, any balance. But something here is about to change. Something's coming back around. We have the death card here and the eight of pentacles. See, whoever this is, see, this person's wanted to show you that they've changed. They don't want things to be over with you. They want to work things out. But I still feel as though this person is being blocked from coming towards you because I feel like they kept you waiting and they was doing things out of immaturity, bringing too much confusion into your life. Yeah. Mm. Wow. I'm getting some of you guys maybe um in a public figure. Someone is seeing you shine bright like a diamond. Like you're shining like a star. You feel you are inspirational. You're positive here. Mm. What is this four of wands? Hold on, y'all. What is this four of wands for Scorpio? When it comes to the Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Thank you. Child, page of, page of Cups. Tell me more. Four of Wands when it comes to the Queen of Wands. Hmm. Ace of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, this is the truth. There's Five of Pentacles not... Lord, have mercy. This Whoever this is, this person is missing you, child. They're unhappy. And see, you're guarded against this person. You focus on your stability, your home, building your empire. But they want to come towards you, honey. It's like they're refusing to work on their shadow side because they want to come towards you. They feel like you're their true love. They're ready to take this leap of faith. Yeah, this person knows that they lost their family. You definitely had a breakup separation from someone. You're not talking to this person. See, you over here healing. You're moving forward here. And good karma is coming towards you. Mm-hmm. And see, that Ten of Pentacles is in the reverse. It's kind of like you're, you're celebrating your own wins. You're celebrating things on your own. You know, maybe it's something that you focus on in your home. But see, you're not wanting to have a family or stability or long-term commitment with this person again. Yeah. Yeah, you're starting over. You're having a new life, a new passionate beginning. Because see, this person half asked you. They breadcrumbed you. They were sneaky, deceptive. They were doing all this while you was loving them. This is why you're blocking off your energy and you're releasing all this baggage, this emotional baggage here. You may have found out that this person was dealing with third, yep, a third party, an empress. This could be a baby mother, a mother, somebody. This, this damn Carmisha, Carmichael person. Yeah, see, this person lost the opportunity with you being manipulative, playing mind games, being egotistical, stagnant. When you were the bag the whole time, Queen of Pentacles. Yep, there's a breakup here. See, you're looking for something better. You're turning your back. And I feel like this person is also trying to strategize how to come towards you, but they're hiding some shit. Oh, this person made me sick already. Yeah, you found out some type of truth and clarity that this person ain't, ain't what it is. They're too immature. They're too immature. Mm. All right, Scorpio. So this is what I have for you guys. This, this is your June 2023, the first through the 15th, the first half. This is your predictions. 
of course take what resonates leave what doesn't so of course i'll be back to do a more general reading but these are the predictions keep that in mind okay also don't forget to check out my etsy shop um i have it pinned to the bottom of the screen take a look around look at my new store also if you would like a personal reading i am available let me know as you see my website for my um tarot reading if you like a personal reading is actually you know at the beginning of the video um I'm actually going to extend this reading, Scorpio, to kind of get a little bit more of the predictions. But this is just the first half. So follow me over into the Scorpio VIP. If you have not already subscribed, definitely come over and get your June 2023, the first half predictions, okay? Peace, love, and light. And I'll see you guys over there in the extended. Bye-bye.